Should be live now. Wait for Twitch to catch up. Uh, give this a refresh. Oh, come on, Twitch. What the hell? There it goes. Okay, can I be heard? Yes. Yes. Oops. Oops. All right, I'm going to leave this up for a second. So I transfer things over. Um, <clears throat> okay, well I think everything's good otherwise, so let me do that. Mute the TV for a sec so I can verify audio. Toxico, Toxicu? How do you pronounce that? Let's see. Okay, I don't think I'm getting audio from the um, Vita. That or it's very quiet. Yeah, I think it's just quiet. Let me turn it up. Yeah, I got a ton of shit. Um, this is all id stuff, uh, except for Doom Vita. That's a homebrew take on Doom. Okay, I can hear it now. Okay, I can hear it now. I don't think I can... Oh, let me mute this. Okay. I don't think I can boost the audio more. Well, maybe I can. Let's see. But we'll just see how it does. You let me know. Alright. <clears throat> so this is a new segment for me. Um, Every Tuesday I'm going to be looking at homebrew stuff on different systems. I don't know if I'll just stick with Vita till I run out and then do something else or I'll bounce between them. Yeah, keep it fast and loose like everything else I do. So let's see, what do I got here? So this is a modded uh, PlayStation TV actually, not a Vita, but it's basically the same thing. Um, it's just a little set box that you connect to the TV, uh, but it's got Vita guts in it. Um, so let's do a quick run through here. Source ports? Alright, I'll get to that. Uh, so these are all apps that I use. Um, the homebrew browser you can use to just directly download and install apps. I tend not to do that, I prefer to do it the manual way, but that's an option for anyone who wants to get into this stuff. Uh, this lets you create custom bubbles. These, these are bubbles. Um, yeah, so, anyway, uh, let's see. So I got homebrew scattered all over. Uh, those are all official games, roguelikes. Uh, so Waste, Wasteland Kings, Super Crate Box. Oh wait, no, not Super Crate Box. Actually, there's a homebrew version of Super Crate Box based off the original Game Maker source, and I can't remember if that's this one or not. But Wasteland Kings is a homebrew port. We have id shooters, these are all source ports, except for this one, which is a homebrew game. Uh, scratch built projects made to emulate, well, made to look like uh, Doom 2016. I have not tried it yet. Um, shooters, more source ports. Um, 
Zombie Bound, both of these, and Tropical Zone, those are homebrew games. The rest are source ports. Action, uh, these are official. The rest are source ports. And then here, we just have like random shit, like Meritus, uh, Jazz Jackrabbit, uh, another Metroid 2 remake, Tyrion, uh, Cannon Fodder, Commander Keen, Doom, Postal, Telltale, I don't know what that is exactly, I just clicked it, or downloaded it. And this is more homebrew, um, scratch built stuff, uh, some RPGs, some shmups, uh, racing games, and these are more puzzly games, um, this is a horror game I think, Minesweeper. So, what else do I have? Oh, let's just stuck a bunch of shit down here. These are official... Hant! Hey, Fuzz. Um, the other three are homebrew. I've uh, got a couple of emulators, and... Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry for the loudness of my phone. Oh god, stop. Enough. Silence. Let me just pop these advertisements over. There. 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 And there. Alright, apologies for that. You got your PSP working! Awesome! You'll have to uh, let me know what version firmware you got on there and uh, what mods it has. We can get you updated to something better, probably, if it's old. Um, anyway, where was I? Uh, so what should we start with? Uh, I'm thinking... Pingo! It's been in, in... it's one of the earliest homebrews that I downloaded. Um, let me dig up info on this real quick. Uh, sorry, there's gonna be little noises I type, but I would like to get people's info into this as well. So, Pingo is a puzzle game in which your goal is to paint the whole level in as little steps as possible. Try to earn three stars in 60 handcrafted levels. This is made by someone that goes by... Well, I don't know if you can pronounce that. G-R-Z-Y-B-O-J-A-D? Well, I'll look in the game itself. There might be some more info in there. So. Oh, let me unmute the TV, too. And again, let me know about any sound issues. Uh, okay, so I can enable touch, but that doesn't matter because I'm not on a Vita, I'm on a PSTV. System software 550 Gen D3. Oh yeah, that's very old. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to jump right in. Okay, yeah, so, you know, let's paint the whole level as few steps as possible. Obvious what that one was. Alright, two, three, four, five, six, ta-da! It's kind of weird the guy doesn't make it all the way to the end before it clicks up. Like, there should be a little delay there, I think, but... Oh. Hmm. I'm already stumped. <laughs> that one in the middle there is throwing me off. Do I want to go that way? How do I get down to left, left down right? Yeah, but there's, well, okay. Oop. Well, I already fucked it up. Oh. 
maybe so the way it works uh, you can't just like click over one cell it slides Oh, okay, I guess you do it like that. So it's not like you go block by block, like most cover the floor games like this. It, it, you actually slide from one wall to the next. So even though I overlapped, that's okay. Apparently that's the way you're supposed to do it. Can't go with that. Hmm. No. <laughs> I don't know how that's different, but we did it. <laughs> Three stars, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> oh, that's just kind of silly. <laughs> okay, I don't know... I don't know if I want to say that this game is... too easy. I think what they're going for is multiple ways to complete a level. It doesn't matter as long as you're below the steps, which I'm already not. Well, that's not. I'm sure you could come up with an optimal way to do this. Take the music. Nah. Yeah, I'm not too good at this either, and I'm like... If you really want the, the best way to do this, you gotta like, kind of memorize what works as you go. I think that's enough of that. <laughs> I'll be stuck on that all night. So that's Pingo. Um, yeah, there's 30 levels? Yeah. Oh, 90 levels. Holy crap. Oh yeah, you can do custom levels. I think people did do custom levels for this too. You can get like a map pack or whatever. Um, I like the art style. Uh, it's consistent, it's colorful, it's simple. The premise is simple. Uh, could maybe use a little more direction, but it's pretty easy to figure out. Um, also needs a credit screen. I'd like to know who the hell made this, you know? Who was involved and everything? I think it was just one person, but... All I got to go on is that page on the homebrew site. 
it's a good one to have. I think next we'll do Jelly Car. So I believe this is a physics sandbox kind of game. This came off Wolo Low. It's a good site for keeping up with news on uh, homebrew and stuff. So let's see. Jelly Car. 2D game with soft body physics. Uh, created by Whalaber. This is a re implemented version for Vita, ported by Dracon. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember where the original is from. I think it was maybe a Flash game on Newgrounds? Something like that? Elastomania? I'm not familiar with that, but could be. Let's see. Oh god, even the settings menu is... Oh, why? How do I... I'm pressing right to go left. What is this? Oh, here's credits. Here we go. So if there are more credit screens like this, you're going to see a lot of those names get repeated. Uh, the flow has been a console modder extraordinaire for a long time. Um, he's written a lot of the PSP mods, uh, I think some DS mods. Um, Renegade Amante is the guy who... He's also done a lot of uh, game ports, like he's done, been doing all the Grand Theft Auto ports with the flow. Um, stuff like that, so that you'll probably see a lot of these names repeated. Uh, where am I at? Oh, controls? Okay. Left, right, transform, ballon, typo there, sticky tire, map, rotate. Okay, we'll figure it out as we go. Nice. Bust a move, uh, is it deluxe, I think? Oh, oh, Ghost, okay. Okay, so these are the libraries they use. That's cool. I like that they included that. OGG for music, SDL2 for graphics rendering, I think. Neat. What is this one? Nothing, okay. All right, let's get into it. Oh. What? I'll start as exit. Whoops. Durr. Yep, well, Buster Move is Puzzle Bobble. It's not a clone, it's just the uh, westernized name. Oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> Out of level. Oh god, I am large. Oh no! <laughs> oh, sticky wheel? Oh, square? Oh. Um. Oh, there we go, there's zoom. Oops. Flake car making it big and round. Into options and look at those controls again. Okay, left and right. Rotate left and right. Transform. Balloon sticky. Yeah, that's what I thought. And map. Oh, map lets you see the whole thing. Right. Okay. Oh, is there only one level? Oh! New time record. There we go.
Oh, I see. Oh, okay. We gotta go up and down. That wasn't clear. Oh. Womp womp. Go, go, go! Go! Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, 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 oh. Sticky tire. Sticky tire. Oh. Crap. There we go. <laughs> I'll just be bigger so I can see where I am. Oh. Whoa. Rotated a little too much. Uh, get up the hill, please. No. What do? Oh god, I'm spinning rapidly. Okay, we'll just chug along and large. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, damn. So, circle is balloon, but it doesn't seem to do it. Maybe I don't have that power yet. And square is sticky tire, but that also doesn't seem to do anything at the moment. Okay. Um, the tires are getting larger, and I don't know why. Oops. Wait. Oh. Can I just... No, I am stuck. <laughs> okay, I... Honestly, I'm not good at these games, so... That's Sticky Car. Or, Jelly Car. I think you know what to expect from the rest of that. Island Project... What should we do next? To River Raid. So there's a Twitter handle down there. Let's see. River Raid. What was the first one? Pingo. I want to keep track of these for when I port this to YouTube later. Um. River Raid, a vertical scrolling 3D shoot 'em up built with Unity. Author Lapey. And that's your Twitter handle down there. In case you want to go give him some love or whatever. So, again, this is Homebrew, so this requires a modded system in order to run it. Um, there are, I'm not sure if they're forks or pirated copies or what, but there's copies of the PS Vita SDK floating around out there. Um, and that's what people use for their different projects. You can start with like Game Maker or Unity and then use the SDK tools to create something that can run on a Vita. Um, I personally haven't tried any of that. So it would be nice to do someday. Of course, now they're shutting down the Vita store in about a year. But obviously with Homebrew, if you have a modded system, that doesn't matter so much. Uh, so yeah, anyway. Controls. Move, fire, speed up. Simple enough. Yep, it has to be left analog stick. Okay, you have to keep clicking. 
the X button. Unfortunately, you can't just hold it down. Which is weird, because just about every shmup I've played, you just hold it down. Oh, crap. <laughs> is me. Thanks for playing. Now screenshot this and share your score on Twitter with the hashtag Lappy River Raid. Keep the scene alive. I'm not going to do that because that score is kind of pitiful, so <laughs> let's restart and try again. Ooh, shooting during a cutscene. So I guess I gotta be more careful and not shoot the... <sighs> Damn it. Alright, let's try that again, because I want to see if I actually run into a blimp if it gives me fuel. Because it looks like shooting it doesn't. So maybe I need to be strategic about who I kill. tell if that actually did anything for me, because I was focused on shooting. And that just... okay. <laughs> I don't know how I'm bad at this, but I'm bad at this. Oh yeah, okay, so you go under the blimp and it goes boop and refills your fuel. So that's cool. I will try not to shoot those from now on. Oof. How do I screenshot again? There we go. I'll do that later. Oh, actually, no. I didn't mean to restart. I can't pause. Oh, we can just do this. River Raid. Okay, I'm gonna do this one now. M sweep. 
obviously a Minesweeper clone. Let's see, M sweep. Uh, all it says, oh yeah, simple Minesweeper game for Vita TV, PS TV, created by Krekriop. Well, that's what it says here anyway. Yes, the Vita has a touch screen. It also has a touch pad on the back of it. Um, I'm actually playing on a PS TV, um, so I'm using a PS4 controller to play everything. And the PS4 controller has a touch pad on it. Um, for touch screen stuff, there is a plugin someone developed, or actually there's a couple of people who worked on, uh, that emulates touch screen, and you can assign buttons to that. Yeah, I know how to play Minesweeper. For the most part. That doesn't mean I'm good at it. Okay, so how do I flag something? There we go. Oh, ha! Huh. Yeah, like I said, doesn't mean I'm good at it. Okay, so square is question, circle is flag, X is select, triangle is restart. Ah. Oops. Oh, I hit restart like a dummy. There we go. Okay, so flag. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I guess it would have to be. This one. Oh, damn. <laughs> right at the end. Uh, pretty good Tetris clone. I wonder what options it gives us. Oh, there's a version number and date, looks like. Uh, did I say Tetris clone? I meant Minesweeper clone. I don't know, because of you I got Tetris on the brain. Um, this is cool though, so we have easy, medium, expert, custom, easy, that automatically makes it custom, that's good attention to detail. You can change all these, you got themes, dark classic, chocolate, pinky, motro skin, black and white, Realistic, old school. Let's do old school. <laughs> yeah, that definitely looks very Windows 3.1 inspired. Oh, you're 19th? Damn. Congrats, that's really good. What uh, what mode was that? Was that just like J 
general Tetris or just specific Tetris effect. Journey mode. Okay, cool. I just realized, well, I'm kind of done with Minesweeper, but I could have updated my thing to be Minesweeper. I actually thought about doing just a stream of Minesweeper. Like, that's it, it's just literally Minesweeper. <laughs> I think it would be fun. Uh, do we have anything else in here? Nope. Okay, well. Oh, I had the... Let me pull it up again. Lower right corner, it's got the author there. Actually, I have a figure in front of the television. Let me move that. Yeah. Crackery-op, or cracker yop however you say that. I actually don't think I have a Tetris clone on here. Let's see if I can get one. This may or may not work. <laughs> it's had issues for a long time. We'll see. This thing makes very slow server calls. So it should get there, but it may not. Hmm. Chat box needs to move over. And I'll readjust it if it cuts anyone off. Oh, actually. Oh, I see what it's doing. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, this can take a minute. I don't know if it's actually throwing errors or not. I believe it does generate a log file if it does. Well, I guess I can look on the Homebrew site. Oh, okay, there's four Tetris clones. Oh, okay, one specifically Tetris attack clone. Oh, there it goes. Okay, let's see what we got. Games, we'll just go over to search. Uh, try to search. There we go. There we go. Um, let's see. Millie Tetris. Click on that. Is there a way to see more screenshots? Let me look on the site. <laughs> it's just easier. I think they only ever put one screenshot, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's more screenshots on here. That looks pretty basic. Um, Vita Tetramino. This is at least colorful. So the other one was black and white, it looked like. I don't know if I had an option for changing that. Uh, Tetramino Toho Edition. I don't know what Toho is, but they stuck art from it in the background, so that's the thing. Um, Beatmaster V.1. Okay. A Tetris where you should get the highest score possible while listening to really cool songs. Well... I'm going to try that one. Did 
This should just take a second once it gets started. I didn't see how large it is though. <laughs> uh, oh, it's 67 megs. Okay, that will take a minute. Like I said, the homebrew browser's connection is kind of slow. But I think it's like, yeah, I think it's like running off someone's like basement server or something. But the other way to get it on here would be to pop out the SD card, or no, I'm sorry, download it from the site, open the FTP thing, drop it in there, and honestly that would have been faster, but we'll just let it go. <laughs> it won't hopefully take too long. Minute 30 maybe. But then I'll have a new Tetris clone to subject Fuzz to. I know he loves that. Maybe I'll fire up the uh, GameCube Tetris game again. Seems to enjoy that one, right? <laughs> Tetris. Well, while we're waiting, uh, I just saw an article pop up. An extended Super Mario Brothers movie cut has been unearthed 28 years after release. Filmmaker Garrett Gilchrist talks to GameSpot about restoring a new version of the classic video game movie. And it might be free to download. I'll have to do a Discord stream of that or something. What a great freaking movie. <laughs> Let me post that link to the chat. Unzipping. That's right, that's half the process. So I don't think that'll take as long because it's already on the console. <laughs> I kind of wish I had the, uh, like the Wii menu music or something playing in the background during this, but that would probably just get me a copyright strike, and I don't need more of those. <laughs> I think you guys saw it. my rant in the one chat about Magic Knight Ray Earth when I moved my or copied my stream over to that from Twitch. YouTube immediately issued copyright strikes for the opening music, and it's like I know it was used in the show, but it's also in the game. Like, there's no allowances for that. It's you know, it's all algorithms and soulless entities, so whatever. It's all bullshit. What's, what's that phrase? Something about the horse running away with a cart or something? I don't know, but that's basically YouTube. They, they unleashed algorithms to do all the work for them, and now that's they have no control over anything. Alright, dude, that's fine. Um, sorry you're going to sleep after what I'm guessing is a mediocre game, but we'll see. So this is by Luck the Gamers. Um, alright, let me just move that in there. Beatmaster. Okay, rotate the piece, move to the left, soft drop. Oh, wait a minute, what? You use the up arrow to rotate and the down arrow to dr soft drop. Uh, what? <laughs> and it seems to be stuck on the screen. Oh. Pretty sure that's 
sure that music is copyrighted. No, it's a remix, it's okay. Uh oh, which pinball? I have a couple. Yeah, okay, single player, let's go. Literally nothing is responding here. I wonder if this is touchscreen. Okay, well, this isn't responding to my controls, so I can't even play that. So you'll get your wish. Uh, let's find that pinball game. Uh, that's even more disappointing than I was expecting. Uh, oh, uh, here. Okay, so... These are both official games, they're not homebrew. Uh, Pinball Arcade and Zen Pinball 2. Pinball Arcade is by... What the hell's their name? Free something? Oh, Farsight Studios. Yeah, so the, the Pinball Arcade is on, like, everything. Like, computers, phones, tablets... Vita, PS3, and on up, Xbox and on up. Um, their whole thing is making digital accurate recreations of existing pinball tables. I, I can pop it up and show you. Um, I think I've got all of the tables on here. It was a fucking process getting that though, because... Oh, there's my email. That's great. I don't know why I was signed out. What the hell? Why is it doing this? There it goes. Jeez. So it's interesting they still have the Williams trademarks. Well, I guess they wouldn't update that, but um, they recently lost the rights to, I believe it was the Williams tables, and so they had to remove those from the games, unless, you know, you had backups. Um, so we got Xenon, Whirlwinds, Victory. So like, there's just like a ton of arcade tables on here. Starship Troopers, Star Trek. And it's like all different like generations too. Like that's, that um, Space Shuttle one is pretty old. Is this, oh, Pinbot. Okay, we're doing Pinbot. Yeah, and so they give you history on the tables too, which is really cool. I actually would like to see a uh, homebrew pinball game. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> and there might be one. I'll have to look.
But yeah, this is an actual table. I've played this quite a few times. Um, and as far as I can recall, it's, it's exactly like this. Yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan of pinball. Um, one thing I'm looking forward to with COVID being over, whenever that happens, is going back to bars and stuff and playing pinball. Which actually, in a couple of weeks, my friend is having a birthday party at a pinball place, so... Probably go to that since I'm vaccinated and everything. Stuff's pretty spread out there, so it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, what the? Come on. Can I get an F in chat? This one. Winners never quit. <laughs> Winners never quit. I always play this one whenever I, f I see it. Cause it's got like th there are times where you can like just rack up endless points. On it. This one is like in entirely ramp based. A gun to shoot the ball? There's a couple. Uh, Goldeneye, um, Terminator 2, I think Judge Dredd, uh, Dirty Harry. There's a few others where the there's like a gun grip and you pull the trigger to shoot it. I don't know, Fuzz, if you might know. I'm not sure how much of a pinball aficionado you might be. I don't think we've ever talked about pinball before. Oh, come on, get in there. Oh. Ah! Bubblegum. I have a good collection of pinball video games. I have... Except for... One, I think. Uh, I have every pinball game on the PlayStation that was released in the US. Um, oh my god! <laughs> uh, I just picked up True Pinball for the Saturn. Um... really about it because most of my stuff is digital. Yeah, I've got Austin Powers Pinball on the PlayStation. I have the Kiss Pinball. Um, I have True Pinball for the PlayStation as well. Uh, what was the other one? Extreme Pinball. And then the rest were all the Time Shock? Something like that. See if they have one of my favorites on here. Jackpot. They have Bride of Pinbot. Funhouse is an interesting one. Oh, F14 Tomcat can be fun, or it can be really dumb. <laughs> Dr. Dude. Diner Cyclone. Centaur. Oh yeah, here we go. Bride of Pinbot. Oh God, she's alive. <laughs> okay. What? There we go. 
Yeah, if I remember right, Funhouse is the one with like two layers. There's like a cutout in the middle where you can see to a lower spot. That might have been Haunted House I'm thinking of. I got the ball in her mouth. Oh, she spit it out. There we go, yeah. Gotta flip her over. Now I gotta get it in her eyes. <laughs> this table is awful. Funhouse one with a head. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. There we go, we got one ball there. If I get the other one, then I get multi-ball. Yeah, it is. You, you gotta really, like, try and feel out what part of the flipper uh, you wait for the ball to reach before you hit something. And, you know, apply the right amount of force and everything. This also helps a lot. Man. Alright, dude. Have a good night. Sleep well. Maybe I'll catch you in another stream. Or I'll actually make it 20 yours. And, uh, I'll see you around. Thanks for stopping by. So I have to avoid going up that ramp, I almost just went up. Oh, crap. Oh, there goes my multi-ball. Doing fairly well. Usually this table is not friendly. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta put the other eye up there.
don't know what the actual story is on this table, but I'm guessing she's, like, evil or something. Like, I think Pinbot decided to make himself a bride and shit went bad. I don't know. Pinball lore, you know? this a while. <laughs> no! I think, um, Voodoo Brewery, a local bar place, um, they have a bunch of, like, pinball and arcade games. Uh, when I say a bunch, it's like a dozen. Um, I think they have Bride of Pinbot there. I can't remember if it's that one or just regular Pinbot. Because the last time I was there was well before COVID, so... But that's a great, great little brewery. They have Mead there. From, uh, I believe from Apis. Which is a local meadery. They used to do Taco Tuesdays, but they stopped that a while back. But they do have other food there that I hear is pretty good. Am I like me? That's the same. Big if true. My glasses. How do I look? You look good. Machine complete and fully operational. Oh, nope. Oh. Do not worry. Be happy. No epic pinball. Um. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> that was a PC only I'm one, right? It. Yeah, I think I have that in DOS box. Oh yeah, Epic Pinball is the one where Space Cadet Pinball came from, right? They just like ported the one table out. Because I know it was originally part of a pinball collection. <laughs> Just not enabled. 
No. Now I can't remember if the Vita has vibrate or not. I want to say it does. Oh well. Oh, I don't think I've seen this face before. Shit. Mirror Bear! I just completed Bride of Pinbot. She looks like a person now. Rotate it all the way around. Damn. I guess I shouldn't have gone back up there. This makes me sad about replay effects. I hope it comes back. I would happily donate to a Kickstarter to bring it back. You know, some kind of crowdfunding thing. It was just such a good event. Give her a heart, which is the right ramp. This one, yeah. But I'm not sure how many times I had to do that. Maybe I missed it. I wonder if it, um, what is it, Black Knight? Oh, here we go. Initials. Uh, here 
way. Yes, A. Good. How do I... Next. No. Okay, my initials are A. Ah. What is happening? Oh, it came back. I can't... That's weird. Why is it not... It's not letting me progress. I think it just timed out. Okay. No, what are you doing? Stop. Stop. Okay. No. There I am. A. <laughs> 38 million. That's pretty good. I don't know if these are actual... Like, did I just hit an actual online leaderboard? But, that's cool. I don't know why it wouldn't let me put my actual initials in, but whatever. Make me feel like a woman, oh my god. Uh, let's see if... I'm not gonna play it, but let's see if Black Knight is on here. Oh yeah! Black Knight and Black Knight 2000. Those are classic tables. Oh, Black Hole also. Oh, Attack on Ma Attack from Mars! is also that one's better in person because of the screen it has but yeah it does black knight 2000 is great it's also freaking difficult so anyway that's pinball arcade which is not a homebrew but that's okay Next, we'll check out Wasteland Kings. So, Wasteland Kings is the... I think it started as a game jam project uh, for Vlambeer. And it worked out so well, they turned it into Nuclear Throne. Um, Nuclear Throne on the Vita is a real sore spot for me because... They released it, and it was awesome, but it was also full of bugs and frame rate issues. And they promised a patch. It took them forever to get it out. PC version got the patch just fine. Uh, but that was the only patch it ever received, to my knowledge. The PlayStation one got sent back to them for some reason. Sony rejected it. And that was the last anyone heard about it. They just... Like, they said they were working on it again, and then they just fucking abandoned it. Because they never said anything about it, and that was several years ago. So, the Vita version is still full of frame bugs and crap. Unfortunately. Because, I mean, I still play the hell out of it. But if they had actually fixed it to the state that, like, Binding of Isaac is in... I wouldn't be able to put it down. <laughs> It's a seriously good roguelike. But anyway, this is Wasteland Kings. This is a homebrew source port um, from, I believe, the Game Maker version? Probably wrong about that. Somehow they got a hold of the source code and ported it. I don't know. Let's check it out. I actually haven't played this version before. Pick a race. Hmm. Oh, he's got the Insmith look. Uh, we'll do Crystal. Oh god. I don't think I like this frame rate either.
Yeah, this frame rate is not good. And this, uh... <laughs> Alright, Fuzz. Um... This PlayStation TV is, like, overclocked. So... I should not be having these... Oh, crap. These frame issues. Whoa! Oh, God. This is just getting worse and worse. I mean, I know I was complaining about Nuclear Throne having frame rate issues, but it's a lot better than this. How is it you... There's a way to bring up the overclock menu, and I don't remember what it is. This is the homebrew port version of Super Crate Box, so I'll try that one. Oh, great. Oh, right, I don't think this port works on PSTV. For some reason they made it Vita only. Well, that's unfortunate. I think the... Yeah, the Spelunky port is the same way. Well, I set my game for streaming as Meritus because they don't have like a PlayStation Vita uh, category you can select, which is, they should just, Twitch needs like just the console because like what if you bounce between a bu bunch of games? I guess the idea is to update what game you're playing as you switch, but that's also kind of a pain in the ass and if I'm doing a bunch of homebrew stuff, they're probably not listed. I was surprised Meritus was, but I guess that it was originally on something and this is a port. Anyway, let's play it. I have not played this before, so I don't know what to expect. Select to return to the 
Now, navigate this help file, use the up and down arrow keys, press X to activate links, select return to the game, help press, oh, okay, press L and get a new point. How weird, it's like a text editor. Far below the surface of the planet is a secret, a place of limitless power. Those that seek to control such a utopia will soon bring an end to themselves. Oh, I'm sorry, Tess. Am I being too loud? Oh, my kitty just woke up and meowed at me. Here. Top few dungeon crawl action adventure game. weird. There has occurred in the following application. Saved core file succeeded. Uh, I don't think I can screenshot that because it's an error window. So I'm going to take a photo real quick and look this up. It should work just fine. Come on. Well, it's one of the things you run into with a modded system, is weird error messages. Honestly, this stuff is usually pretty stable, so I'm not sure what the issue was there. Um, so let's try Tyrion instead. Tyrion instructions. Uh, wow, okay. I'm not gonna read all that. <laughs> okay. I thought this was just a shmup, but I guess there's more to it. That's cool. Ah. Shmups, but I am not good at them. But they're definitely like the kind of game you play over and over and over and over. I feel like the older I get, the more into those kinds of games I am. I don't know why. I never had the patience for them when I was younger. Long these 
shields last. I don't seem to have any, like... Well, it says rear gun, but... I don't have a way to activate it? I don't seem to have any other weapons. I don't know if I get them as I play. Oh, what? Oh. I don't like that. Ah! Well, finally died. <laughs> Apogee Shmup. Apogee makes good stuff. God, I can't really read that. Uh... Huh. Front gun, rear gun, shield, generator, left side kick, right side kick. Huh. Okay. That's cool. So wait, that was... Where was it? Oh, that's Tyrion. I also have Turrican, which I don't really know what that is. But I'll check that one out. Contra the mixed with the shot, I guess. Power up. What did I get there?
tutorial at the beginning, but of course I skipped it. <laughs> ah, who is that? That one's doing right. This game is this port is very good. Everything is completely smooth. Game, I'm actually gonna have to like read up on it and figure out what it is I'm supposed to do. Screens never have control on them, like what to do. Just like, enter your initials, good luck figuring it out in 30 seconds. set this up. Let me check it out. This is a uh, source port for Half-Life and other games running on that engine. I don't think I ever put the files in. Oh! Maybe I did. I don't have uplink though? If I did those other ones I would have done that. Well, let's try Counter-Strike. I think that has bots. Is a good sign. It could be loading. Maybe it didn't crash. If it's seeing the map files, I think that means the everything is there. So it's just a matter of whether or not it'll actually run. Oh, that's a good sign. Had classic CS16 menus.
loading mere kilobytes and it still takes forever. I don't know if Zash 3D is still in active development. I think it is. But I don't really keep up with that one. Most of the ports that people do, it's like, why would you even bother? Like, it's impressive, but also full of issues. Like, uh, Zash 3D is being ported to the PSP. Which, it should work relatively fine, because the Quake engine has been, already been ported several times. And Half-Life is basically just the Quake engine with a different model renderer. And different... lighting? I forget. Um, and I have played, like, Half-Life on the PSP. It was running through a Quake port, but most of it worked. But then there's, like, Zash 3D on the... I think someone put it on the DS, and it's like... God. And someone did port it to the original Xbox, but... So far it only works if you do the memory upgrade, which requires desoldering a memory chip and soldering in a new one that's 128 meg instead of 64. Like, I feel like Half-Life could run on 64 megs of memory. So I don't know what the issue is there. I also don't know what the issue is here. Like, is it done? Can I start? Play? I don't know what the expected wait time for this is. See if we can get Half Life to work at least. is at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. That's kind of chilly. This train is inbound from level 3 dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If you were oh, Fuzz, you remember that forklift model that I said is from Half-Life? You'll see it coming up. Like, 
In the opening no intro, it's the only down. time you ever see them. No smoking, eating, they're not even, like, drinking, rendered well or anything because they're meant to be seen from a distance. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to pass the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please. This area was used to make uh, bounce to an one of the deathmatch maps. Until assistance arrives. A very fun map. so far. It makes me want to try Counter-Strike again. See, it looks 60 FPS right now. Granted, there's like, it's a small room and there's nothing going on, but... I'm pretty impressed. There's the G-Man. Is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you yeah, have fix been your exposed tie. to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on. Keeper is all cleaned up. Excellent. Now Lots of cat hair. Yeah. Sector C test labs. Sounds about right. Control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank Let me you, out. and Let have me a out. very safe and productive day. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. What are like these controls? Circle is jump, triangle is crouch, X is slow. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh oh. It froze. There it goes. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. Did you know this? Watch his mouth. Uh there he goes. Oh, he doesn't do it. In the PC version. And it might be a throwback to an earlier patch or something. When he pushes the buttons, he makes yeah, he makes the noises with his mouth. It goes boop 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 boop. But it didn't do that here for whatever reason.
Oh, really? Interesting. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my file. Just one of those days, I guess. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Ha, that's funny. You told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your battery. My God, what are you doing? Come on, Gordon. Are you trying to get me into trouble? Yes. Good morning, Gordon. Big day today, Freeman. The sample was just delivered to the test chamber. Get the old style med pack here. Oh, that fancy HD shit. Turning is kind of slow. Oh, there's the G-Man again. I think that's a different scientist than who usually shows up there. Maybe it's randomized. Hello there. Ah, it's good to see you. I thought you made one of these explode by interacting with it. Hello. My God, what are you doing? <laughs> My God, what are you doing? Yeah, I am super impressed with how well this is running. Greetings. I hope those containment parameters are still nominal. My God, what are you doing? You'll just have to wait until after the test. I must remember to report that fluctuation. Why do we <coughs> all have to wear these ridiculous ties? That's odd. All right, that's enough of that. Uh, I'm gonna try Counter Strike again because I really want to see that work. I'll pick a map that's stock for this version, just in case there's some weirdness. I'm sure Counter-Strike would also run really well, if it ever gets to run at all.
I don't know if that's a good sign or not. <laughs> I assume it's a bunch of little in- oh, yes! Sweet! I cannot interact with anything. Uh... Controls... Gamepad... Oh. Huh. Don't even tell me this shit isn't configured. Wow, okay. Um, I don't know what to do about this. It gets into a game, which is cool. I think normally you can just hit fire in it. Okay, well, Crouch is doing something, but I can't seem to select anything. Maybe this is touchscreen based. I hope not, but it seems like it might be. Okay, so crouch was triangle, and that seemed to be working. Oh my god. Duck is shift. Okay, move forward and back, so where's the actual binding for these, I wonder? Stand. I guess I'll have to read up on this. Oh. Somehow I got a keyboard. Oh, uh, uh, crap. I don't remember my console commands. Um, 
set team. Terrorists win. Oh. Yeah, it didn't. Oh, that's how you bring that up. Okay. I still can't do anything. Oh, that's fucking garbage. I'll have to look into that. I'm sure I can get it working. Try this one again. streaming for two hours and I'm getting hungry so I think I'm gonna call it here and uh, get some dinner I'll try and figure out counter-strike for next time and see what else I get up to bye mayor uh, you don't have to leave just yet I'm gonna see about raiding somebody since I actually remember to do that See who we got online. Band. Okay, we've got Notch playing Bioshock Remastered. I think we'll do that. So let's just set this back. Alright, so we're going to raid Notch. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope you found it as entertaining as I did. And uh, let's see, tomorrow night is Drakan. Uh, if not, which will be, if not the last episode, then the second to last, m most likely. Going by the guy that I peeked at. Um, and then Saturday, Sega Saturn Day makes a return. And uh, otherwise, keep an eye out for random streams. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. So let's set this up for Notch. Alright. Everyone have a good night.